Well, one of the founding members of the rock group The Who is found dead in a Las Vegas hotel room. News 13's 11 minutes of nonstop news begins now. Hello, I'm Kathy Ray. Ross Becker has the night off. Fans here in the Valley and all across the world mourn the loss of bass guitarist John Entwistle. Some star power in Carson City as famed attorney Alan Dershowitz fights for convicted killer Sandy Murphy before the state Supreme Court. And some startling news about UMC's trauma center. But first, we begin with the death of a rock and roll legend right before a nationwide tour was kicking off. News 13's Veronica Sanchez joins us live from the Hard Rock Hotel where fans tonight, we understand, are consoling each other over the sudden loss of John Entwistle. That's right, Kathy. They came from all over the world to come see the Who perform right here in Las Vegas. Well, now they are grieving the loss of 57-year-old John Entwistle. He is the bass guitarist that helped change the face of music. They were part of the British invasion, the Who, and tonight one of them is gone. Oh, it's horrible. You know, the ox is gone. Or is the spider? No more. No more. John Entwistle, the bass player. And they're going to miss John. He died this afternoon at the Hard Rock Hotel, one day before the band was supposed to kick off their tour here. Now fans are tossing flowers at the joint. They're holding a night-long vigil for a legend and remembering his music. Sad, very sad. He's one of my favorites, too, you know? You know, the whole who, John Entwistle. The concert here is canceled, but the loss cuts deeper than money. For fans like oh, wow. Scott Evans. Uh, I've been a Who fan since I was 12 or 13. Like, a, like any other teenage boy, there's a lot of anger. With their hard edge, the Who broke into the music scene in the 1960s. John Entwistle eventually went solo. Well, he was a fantastic bass player, either with the Who and without. Somebody that you never met, you know, like like that. You know, he touches everybody. While music fans mourn, Metro Police are handling the investigation into his death. And it looks like Entwistle may have died of a heart attack. He may be gone, but fans are keeping the music alive. In the words of the Who, long live rock, I need it every day. Now the promoter for the concert says a Vegas show and also a July 1st show in Los Angeles have both been canceled. Now we don't know what is exactly going to happen of the tour after that, but we do know that fans who did get tickets for the Vegas show can in fact get a refund. Reporting live, Veronica Sanchez, News 13, inside Las Vegas. Any word tonight, Veronica, from any of the band members? Not yet. We did ask the hotel uh, folks in there if they had heard anything at all and nothing yet so far. But I'm sure they're they're definitely in grief tonight. Absolutely. A major yeah. loss for rock and roll. Yeah. Okay, Veronica. You know, John Entwistle was not only a talented musician, he was also an artist. In fact, 17 of Entwistle's paintings were for sale at Desert Passage inside the Aladdin. But once word came down about his death today, Entwistle's estate froze the immediate sale of his artwork. However, a number of limited edition prints are still available on the market.